These workshops are centred around people exploring loss creatively through nature. So we're really working with the trees and the woodlands in the gardens in Kilwadri. So that's the kind of the, the real core of the work that we're doing here. So they choose a tree in the woodlands and then they visit that tree every week and they get different creative exercises around that tree. It's an open space you can say as little or as much as you want and then you can kind of create something and make something afterwards. So, so there's this really lovely mix of being in nature, meditating a bit and then coming together and then making something quite personal that you can either share or not share. I had no idea what to expect. I come into it with a totally open mind and I was very, very surprised at what came out of it. I think just finding a group of people who you can say anything to and they will understand because they've been through something, maybe not the same, but on a similar level, it's really important. We've been working a little bit with the idea of how the forest is a community that supports each other and a single trees don't tend to do so well without the support of everyone else. So I think it's really important to walk into a space where it's just acknowledged that everybody's in pain and everybody's going through this. So it makes it much easier to share, I think, and, and people connect much quicker. It was like delving into the unknown, really. But from day one, it just felt gentle. It felt safe. It felt new but not intimidating. You felt very supported and in that then you begin to open up and reveal and just um, and listen. A uh, huge part of it was just listening because really the reason you're there is to share your experience. Last week I introduced the idea of ritual and what that meant to people and if they had their own personal rituals around their loss something they do for themselves and it's really about your own journey through this and honouring your own journey and actually one of the participants just said to me before she left that of course it's about the person you lost but it's also that you lose yourself a bit so it's to try and kind of re-find yourself and integrate all of the stuff that's, that's happened so that you can carry it a little bit lighter I guess and something that they can maybe bring forward with them so for instance that tree is always going to be there so they can come back to the gardens and visit that tree and you know, just take some time with it. I found it incredibly helpful. Yeah, grief and loss is just, it's such a personal thing and I think everybody has, has to find their own way through it and find a way of expressing themselves. So to discover something like this, in my case on my doorstep, because I live in Bray, I just thought, wow, it's really ticking all the boxes in one kind of swoop. So this was just one of those nice things in the diary every week that you knew you were going to get lost in the trees with the group and feel safe and, uh, and hopefully delve into the process. Dealing with loss and grief is, is hard work, but the way it's, it's sort of done here with Andrea, you know, she finds really beautiful ways and really gentle ways to, to bring that, that creativity and that healing out for people. I think Ireland could benefit from having more of these sort of workshops and spaces that people can get together to, to discuss stuff like this because it's, it's a hard one, you know, and, and we're, we're not always used to that and lots of people keep it inside, but I think by sharing and creating and even walking and talking, there's a huge power in that.